Hi, my name is Thomas Maurer. I'm a cloud advocate at Microsoft, and I'm going to show you how you can sync your file server using Azure File Sync directly in Windows Admin Center. So we all know the problem with our file servers and if we have multiple locations, right? So Azure File Sync helps you to deal with a couple of different things. So in this picture, we have a file, sync, a file server running in New York. Uh, and different users and applications are access um, this file server. The one thing we do is we connect it to the cloud to an Azure file share uh, and use the Azure file sync service to replicate the data from that file share. This gives us cloud tiering. So if we are only having like five terabyte of physical storage, but we want to store more data, uh, we can do that and we can offload uh, some of the files or all the files which are not accessed for months or years uh, to the cloud. And whenever someone accesses one of these files, it gets downloaded from the Azure file share. We also have the, uh, the capability to access the file share directly in the cloud on the Azure file share. And we can use the Azure file sync service to sync files between two different servers. So if you have server one, which is in New York, and we also have server two, which is based in Seattle. We can basically use the Azure File Sync service to replicate data between those two servers. So users can access it in both office locations. The fourth option, which gives us Azure File Sync is we can leverage Azure Backup to backup files directly from the file share without the need of a local backup. And so if we need to restore something, we can directly do that from Azure Backup. And another great advantage of this scenario is disaster recovery. So let's see, say that server two in Seattle is failing. The only thing we need to do is set up a new server, uh, install the Azure File Sync agent and start downloading the files. In the backend, Azure File Sync uh, agent will download the metadata of all the folders and files. So user can, after a couple of minutes, directly access those files. And whenever a user accesses a file which is not 100% downloaded, the Azure File Sync service will go and download it from the Azure File Share. So users can immediately start working. So let's have a look how we can set this up. As you can see here, I'm in Windows Admin Center. I'm managing um, my different servers and two of them are file servers. So we have FS01 and FS02. On FS01, I have a file share and I have three folders in that file share. On FS02, I have a empty file share because this office is not yet in use. I want to use the same data um, on F from FS01. So if I switch back to um, the Windows Admin Center, uh, the first thing I need to do is basically set up an Azure File Sync service in Azure. So I switch to the Azure portal, um, I look for Azure File Sync. You can see I have a service here. And I'm going to deploy a new Azure File Sync. So I will call that Windows Admin Center Demo 01. I will choose the right location. I will um, create a new resource group. And I will pick the location West Europe. After a while, the Azure File Sync service is created. If I go to that Azure File Sync service, I can see here that I have nothing configured yet. The first thing I need to do though is create a storage account I can then use with the Azure File Sync service, which is basically the Azure File Share. I'm going to create a new storage account. I will use um, the same resource group. I used for the file sync demo. I will give the storage account a name um, and I will create that storage account. So after the storage account is created, um, I go and I create a Azure file share in that storage account.
And this is basically the Azure file share I'm going to use for the uh, sync service. So if I go back and I go for my Azure file sync resource group, I can find the file sync service here. And I create the first sync group. This is the group which are all the servers and endpoints are synced. So I give it a name, FS servers. Um, I choose the uh, location. I select the storage account I just created uh, for the specific um, demo. And then I select the file share I created uh, to be used in that storage account and select create. And now I have basically created the resources needed to use with the Azure File Sync service. So let's go back to the Windows Admin Center. In the Windows Admin Center, you can see that I have my two file servers here. So let's go to the first one. And let us create the Azure File Sync service or install the Azure File Sync service on that server. I go to setup. Okay, um, it tells me that the agent is not currently on installed on the file sync, uh, on, the, on my file server. So let's install the agent. Um, I also want to make sure that it uses um, Microsoft Update to basically update the Azure File Sync service. I can also configure a proxy uh, if I'm behind the proxy. So let's deploy that agent. After the agent is downloaded and installed, I click on next. And now I need to configure the storage sync service. So I will select the right Azure subscription. Um, I will select the resource group I created. And I will select here the right uh, storage sync service, which I created. And now I register the server um, to be part of that uh, sync service. Now the server is registered with my sync service. So let's finish this one. Okay. And now I'm in the server configuration for the Azure file sync. Uh, I registered my server with the sync service. So I also now need to join the specific sync group. So I click on sync, new sync group. And what I need now is the file path, um, which should be synced from the file share. So I quickly go to our file server. I quickly go and copy that path and put the path in here and run a quick check if that is really working. Now this will take a while to check uh, the compatibility uh, to sync with Azure File Sync. Okay, after the check is complete and it says everything is validated, um, I now need to add my server uh, to the specific sync group. So let's go to the back to the Azure portal. You can see here that this is my uh, um, sync group. I open up that sync group and I add a server endpoint here. So I, well, from the drop down, I now have my server registered. I also copy the path. I can then configure things like cloud tiering. So I can go in and say, um, how much percentage of the volume should be free, let's say 50%, and I don't want to have, I want to cache files younger than 30 days. And so I add that server endpoint here. After a while, you can see that now the health of that server endpoint is green, and you can also see uh, the last sync status. So all the files are synced. Um, if I now go and have a look at the storage account, if I go to the Azure file share, I can see that I now have the same three folders synced from my file server up to the Azure file share. So this already gives me the DR capabilities. So in case I need to restore files or my file server is gone, I can simply set up a new server and sync it from there or I can directly access files here in Azure. 
However, now I want to add my second file server to configure that. So let's go back to the Windows Admin um, Center. Okay, so to quickly remember, um, on my second file server, I do not have any files or folders yet. While on my file server one, I already have my three folders. So now I want to add the second file server. Go to configure Azure File Sync. Going to run through the setup. After the agent is installed, I go to next, join the specific sync server. This is going to be the same sync server or sync service uh, than we used for the other server. Select that specific sync service, click next and register our server um, to Azure. And after the server um, is registered, I can do the same and configure the specific file share from that server. I click on finish. I can see the server is also registered to the same sync group. I go to do that. Um, again, I also need here the file share. So I'm going to copy the specific file share. Run a quick check on that one. We can now see that the validation worked. So let's go again back to Azure to add my second server as a server endpoint. And you can now see that server two shows up here. Gonna select that server, gonna enter the path. Again, I'm gonna enable cloud tiering. I'm gonna say 50% and let's say 30 days. And click on create. And this now will again provision my second file server um, to that sync service. After a couple of minutes, you will also see that now the second server is successfully added. Um, and you can see this latest sync status as well. So if we now switch back to server two, he should have the three folders. If I do a quick refresh here. You can see I have now the same three folders than I have on server one. So let's create a new folder on server one. Folder four. And let's create a new folder five on server two. Give it a couple of seconds. And do a refresh and you can see now I have so one to five on, on server two. And I have server one to five on server one. If I now switch back to the Azure portal and go again on the specific file share and I do a refresh there, I can also see I have all the, file, all the folders also on that file share. So this is Azure File Sync together with Windows Admin Center.